Bueno amigos, bienvenidos a una nueva edición de En Vinil, me encuentro en el DCC Museum, aquí en Los Ángeles, California Y vamos a hacer una segunda parte, porque ya vieron todo lo que tenía que ver con el formato Pero hay cosas que no vieron, no vieron lo extraño del formato, no vieron cosas que se han hecho exclusivas para el formato Entonces, a eso nos dedicaremos en esta segunda parte, así que no se despeguen, yo soy Ricardo Méndez, esto es En Vinil y comenzamos <música> So, what we have here is um, is a, a tape that is not commercially released. It's part of the testing program between Philips and the musical industry. Okay. This is the the the, the Super Tramp Abel album uh, "Brought Away You Bound." So it um, it's uh, it's made in 1993 and it's a, a test demo album. So when we first got it, we didn't know what the heck was going on until we we put it in the player. So if you put it in the player, there we go. So what we know is that if you hit text, you get your track title, which is uh, of course Cannonball. The artist is Cannonball by um, uh, Supertramp. Album title is Brother Where You Bound. And then suddenly a fourth button, lyrics became available. As soon as that lyrics disappeared, we knew we had a winner because if you now look, as soon as he starts singing, the lyrics actually will go in sync with this blade. Okay. And I always say, if they would have done this against mini disc, they would have had a chance because nobody had this. In Asia, there's an icon, a whole continent that likes that yeah, karaoke. karaoke. And they had the technology, it, it's, it's in every player, and they just never released it. Um, so, w once we had this, we, um, we got tipped on a listing on eBay in the United States from a, a mastering artist from the RCA mm -hmm. record label. He was selling what he was called a ITTS video box. And I thought again, this was a scam because video and DCC with this is audio, mm -hmm. this is video. How does this match? But it had this logo. So um, it turns out that if you have any player, this again is a second generation player, and you would have a video box like this, okay. you could link your player to the television. Um, how? I mean, my, with the uh, so with optical cable? Or? Optical cable, optical out okay. to, I, to ITTS in, and from here you could go with SCART or RCA plug to your television. Okay. So now if we do this again, and we press play, suddenly we see this menu. So you can go to a track list, which is interactive. If I go to song two, song one is highlighted. The artist, it will tell you, it, it'll give you more information. But also here, the, uh, the, the lyrics are showing. Like, like the karaoke? Yeah, like the karaoke. With the difference between the regular player and this player is that if I would go to menu, I saw language menu. Okay. I go like, hey, wait a second, what is that? I could go to Dutch. So now suddenly the lyrics are in, they could be in any language. Okay. So now it's in Dutch. Wow. So they thought this through completely, made it work, and then never released it. Oh. To me, that was mind blowing. It, I mean, it's, if it's a game changer. Yeah, because if you talk about, you know, potential, and of course, in, in you know, a theory, 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 okay. but I have this, this is ready, right? Yeah. So then, uh, and this is, uh, again, uh, I don't know if you can use it, but I'll tell you, we, um, we have been secretly working for two years with the musical industry, talking to almost every mastering agent about who potentially would do this. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if you have people working at, at, the, at the, 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 the plant, there are always people who do things their own way. Yeah. And these tapes we found together with Techmon, we already found three titles that have these lyrics, and these are commercially releases. There are people that have Scorpion tapes at their home, home okay. and they don't know that there are lyrics on it. Or Katie Matea, Toby Keith. So if we take, uh, let me see, if we take this one, a Scorpions album, 
It turns out that this has um, uh, lyrics as well, only in English. And this, so this was a, a, a sample tape, which we which we know. But this you can actually buy for for about twenty bucks. And if you would have one of these boxes, then you could uh, you could still show the lyrics. So there were some labels, uh, especially Mercury, who uh, were the bad, you know, the, yeah, the bad kids. They just didn't, they didn't listen. They did it anyway the, because they there's, could. There's no any indication of it on, on, no. on, on the on the, on the no. package. No, you you don't uh, you don't even know that it's there. So what this means is that every single tape that's in here, 500 tapes, has been through this machine to check if it has lyrics. And then I found, uh, I found, you know, you see, okay, album, track. And, uh, and lyrics. And as, as soon as you see this, you can click this button. The tape's a little dirty. Now to finish this story off, I'm, um, I'm a computer nerd. Okay. And if you know that this is all ASCII, mm -hmm. this is ASCII information done with a teletext decoder. I, do, 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 did they have teletext in Mexico? Uh, Where you would well, have like, like TV? Yeah, closed caption. Yes. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. So if this is ASCII done by teletext, why am I looking at, uh, why am I looking at uh, just uh, text? You could have done pictures as well. And then we found another tape. Okay. Of, this, uh, of this we only have, uh, we only have one. And again, it's uh, it's a sample tape. And look who's on it. It's it's Kermit the Frog. Okay. So I, I bought this actually for five bucks, thinking like, okay, who, who I had never seen. And if you have something like this where there is no markings, mm -hmm. you know you have something special because either the sticker is is removed or it never had any etchings. Yeah, because, because it was our, our, our if printed. It, if you see, if usually if it's official. Yes. So for you as a collector, if you see something that that has a window like this, so it means it's not recorded by somebody at home okay. and it doesn't have any markings, you might want to take a look at it. So again, this tape is also very old and dirty. But let's see if I can show you um, what uh, if we can get this there to work. This actually has graphics. This okay. this Kermit very minimalistically, but it is. It is moving. I mean, it was 1993. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, this is 1992. But but uh, so so you have to um, see it in that time frame. In that time frame, it was the hottest thing possible. Okay. And again, I have uh, the, with all the people that I spoke of, Phillips. Really? Nobody. <laughs> you see, he's smiling, and now his eyes yeah. are moving. Nobody is able to tell me why you didn't do this. If it's possible, it's already in there. Yeah, there is a. I mean, okay. for kids, you yeah. see the potential. I always get goosebumps when I watch this because the missed potential about something like uh, something like that. Well, well, Philips had the technology. I mean, they developed the, the CDI and. The inventor, they they uh, as you know, the DCC is about eight tracks. Yes. Eight track, no, sorry, nine. Eight is audio, and the ninth is this. They made it to see what it could do. Okay. So when I went back to the inventor and I interviewed him and I told him, it's like, why did you do the ninth track? He said, we did it we, because we had room for the ninth track and we would see what happened in the future. I said, do you know that there was another team that actually put something on it? When I showed it to him, he nearly cried. Even the inventor didn't okay. know that this existed. <laughs> so wow. again, uh, Philips, you know, to me, innovative company, the right people, but you know, um, managing it, distributing it, selling it. A lot of people in the United States, when they hear the word Philips, they don't think on innovation or quality. I mean, yeah. in, in the Netherlands, we know that, but you know, sometimes a name has to be carried out. And I, I if I see this, I, I, you know, it's like, wow. If they would have had this against mini disc, then people might be, look, the stars. Yeah. Then people might have thought like, yeah, why would I buy a mini disc when I can have this? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. You never know. I'm sorry, 2020, but I, I wanted you to see this. I mean, you, you <laughs> might have never uh, get the chance yeah, to see like it. This is like I've been an archaeologist and found. I, I lost yeah. treasure. That, yeah. That's that's pretty much this. Yeah. 
And it's it, so it started with Techmoan. I didn't know that this was was there. And you know what? Neither did anybody else. Right. So it's 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 my task to 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 tell this uh, to tell this story. And and uh, you coming here means a lot to me because it helps. You know, you yeah, obviously yeah. have a big YouTube channel, and and uh, I'm honored that you are willing to. Uh, to do actually, uh, you already did an episode on, on DCC. Well, I have like two or three more, but I sent you the one with the with the with the, with the player itself. Yeah, I mean. yeah, 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 yeah. And and it's 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 great that we can uh, that we can meet and I can you know show you a little bit in a nutshell uh, on on uh, why I think this is so important because uh, people sometimes uh, perceive things because they the wrong way because they don't have the right information and you know and now we do. So now we have to let uh, uh, yeah. everybody know, and and it doesn't change history. This is a dead format. Yeah, yeah. It will. It is. Uh, <laughs> we keep it alive by using the resources that we have and producing new tapes. Um, but if in the next five years nobody comes up with new tapes, we're gonna be in, in trouble in, in ten, right? Because to get the tapes is of course um, the, the the hardest. We need to record on something as uh, yeah. as as well, right? Well, that's that, that's the thing. I mean, music is universal and. It's uh, long lasting. I mean, classical music has been like five hundred years over there, and yeah. still, and it still sounds amazing. Yeah, it does. And and uh, you know, if you pieces by Brahm are done by so many different uh, symphonies, and and everybody has their favorite. You know, yeah. whether it's the Symphony of, of Rotterdam or here the the the, the L.A. And so. Um, this is where we actually, uh, most volunteers spend their time just what you do, research, 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 and, and trying to get there first. Um, last year we started in Japan, that's a huge market. Uh, un unfortunately, uh, it, it's it's an expensive market, but uh, most unique players, you know, that, that's Korea, that's Japanese, before Japan opened their market. Mm -hmm. Because five years ago, you couldn't buy anything in Japan unless you went there. Okay. And now you can, uh, now you can at least do. Wow. Try. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Okay. So this is the modification you made to record new um, yes. DCCs. So yeah, we have uh, we have uh, two here. We actually have three of these uh, these tables. This is the very last player that uh, that Philips built. And the interesting part about that is is that they made a PC connection cable. Okay. And uh, this was released six months before the format uh, officially died. And this was built as um, a way to edit the data of the artist that you wanted and then copy the music to it and then stream it through this cable to the unit. So you could add your own song titles and you could modify the artist's name and stuff like that. And you, so could, yeah, and you could create the, that... that, uh, that um, the lyrics? The, no, no, not the lyrics, but the... Uh, the 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 encode tape. I mean, the yes. one says that this is track one, yes. and also create the, that that singular particular thing that has the the master tape. I said this is a master, and this is not a copy. Correct, correct. That's that's what you uh, what we call a super user tape. Yes. That's how this is called. And um, so we knew that this existed. These these players are uh, somewhat rare. The cables are extremely rare because only twelve hundred cables ever were made, and they were <laughs> custom order and. This runs, unfortunately, st still on the Windows 98 and a parallel port. So you 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 cannot. Uh, we've tried you everything. You cannot upgrade that one. You cannot <laughs> upgrade that one. No. So um, then, of course, we didn't want to use regular tapes. We had to use the official tape, okay. and official tapes you cannot record on. So we had two problems. We had to find out how to erase them, mm -hmm. and how to record on them. So to erase them, uh, we 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 that I found quickly. I mean, this is normal magnet tapes like the compact cassette. Or yes. They, or they are? Yes. But it's, okay. uh, uh, well, yes and no. Yes, they are normal tapes, but it's it's chrome videotape. And oh, it, right. it, if you put it in the player and you press record, it won't it won't erase. It simply right. won't. I mean, you can put it on a demagnetizer like the other. Uh, Didn't Compact work on a de demagnetizer? No, we had to use very, very strong magnets to get the information off. And yeah. then uh, we had to modify the player so that it thinks it's a normal cassette while it is an official release okay. and then uh, we were able to do it but since this is a one-on-one -on -one, so a one hour tape will take us one hour to record that's why we have multiple stations so if we when we release 250 albums of Jeremy Haydn that's about a week's work <laughs> if, if full, it's it's really a labor of love you will never uh, uh, be rich uh, and he sells them at $25 a piece so actually you would lose money on that it's 
more that it has um, advertised uh, uh, value for us that like wow these guys are uh, these guys are releasing on uh, on that format again and uh, yeah so we have a bunch of the cables now we have a bunch of uh, DCC 175s and um, yeah that is um, that's a very interesting uh, player that's a that's a really the, the best they've ever built okay because in that single hat you have 40 different tracks and you know the same hat with analog only had uh, four tracks you know so they 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 really did a good um, a good good job on uh, on that one and those were the 90s i mean yeah. nowadays yeah who can tell <laughs> yeah and and that's um, uh, of course uh, i i miss a little bit the days where where uh, every 5 years you would have an exciting new format i mean you remember the vhs yeah, yeah, yes, and the beta yes. and and in, in yes. the netherlands we had the video 2000 we had at one point i would go to the video store and there were not one there were three walls yeah and you know so my parents had a, 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 they were Philips guys, so they had a video 2000. So that means I had this little section of what I could rent. And then you had this whole wall at VHS and then, and we couldn't get it. So well, it's like, it, it was apparent that we, we got the wrong player, but you didn't know that when you bought it, you know, that you, you well, found that out later. You, 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 you have to know Mexico was different because Mexico, we were beta kingdom and we were beta kingdom for all the 80s and mid 90s. I didn't so know that VHS though. was this little section and everything was beta. And all of a sudden beta was not produced and then all went VHS, but uh, almost at the same time came DVD. And But we made a lot of beta over there. I mean, okay. Sony, uh, Sony were, uh, were making business on our behalf because beta was big thing in Mexico. Oh, wow. So now you know that we, we used to be on the loser side of the format as well. So. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, you know, v VHS, uh, can you imagine? So every single person that owned a Beta or Video 2000 eventually still bought a VHS. Yeah, so it's I, like. I did. So. I still, have my, I still have my Beta. Yeah. It's working. Oh, you, you still have it? Yes, of course. I, I have all the formats yeah, I well, ever had. <laughs> you say, of course, but I mean, I'm, I'm like the guy who threw everything out in the 90s, <laughs> and I wish I didn't. But well, I still had a lot of tapes, so I said. I must, I must, uh, well keep it. These are for sale, right? These are for sale. Yeah, yeah. These are uh, um, uh, restored and uh, ready to go. Uh, the interesting is that we sell mostly to people, to countries that uh, never have seen um, DCC. DCC. The biggest, okay. uh, the biggest one is, uh, is, is Qatar, for instance. I know that DCC never sold a single unit there, but now they can't get enough of it because it's it's it's. Uh, I guess it's 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 different and it's new, and and that also means uh, desirable, right? I mean, uh, but you 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 can remember going into a store in Mexico and seeing a DCC player? Yes, Tower mm -hmm. Records. I do remember yeah, going to a Tower Records and saying, "What's this? What is this?" I mean, mm -hmm. I, I saw the format. I said, well, "This is not a table. What, mm -hmm. what is this?" But also, I saw. I remember seeing mini discs and. I had a mini disc, so. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you have the 900 with the uh, the Tower logo on the side, that is, yeah. uh, you see yeah. that that has historical value, <laughs> yeah. right? Because Tower Records is gone. Now gone. Right. DCC only, is gone. only, only, only a DCC is gone, and and yeah. uh, so that is stuff that uh, that you have to preserve. Yeah. yeah. Bueno, bueno, amigos, muchas gracias por acompañarnos en esta segunda parte de este la visita al DC Museum. Una vez más, gracias a Ralph. Thank you, Ralph, again for showing all this. Y bueno, pues nos vemos en la próxima en Envinil. Soy Carlos Méndez. Cuídense mucho. Yeah.